Hi guys, this is Brooke here. It is technically day 14. Um, it's Tuesday, April 18th. I must admit this um, video process has been going a lot slower than I thought it would. Um, but with me moving into my grandma's and working on a bunch of gigs and auditioning and just dealing with life, it has been insane the last few weeks. Um, and it, I really have been kind of low, so I haven't really been inspired to write anything or to um, record anything. But today I am inspired for some reason. I woke up and I was like, you know what? I just, I want to share this with people and, and just get it out there for myself. Um, so I wanted to talk about intention. Um, intention, you know, everyone has, hears about intention. Like you set your intention, you put it out into the universe and then, you know, you probably will get it back. But I wanted to talk about intention and how just because you set an intention, it doesn't mean that the universe is going to grant your wishes like a genie. Um, yeah, and excuse like cats climbing in a box, the cabinets are all open, but I'm almost out of here. So, but anyways, um, yeah, so setting your intention does not necessarily mean that you're going to get what you want. If you've been watching my last few videos, you know that I applied to be um, a camp counselor over the summer in Massachusetts. And obviously, after the interview, I was like stoked. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to get this for sure. It was a great interview. I know that I'm going to hear back from them any minute now. Crickets. Um, and I started obsessing over it. And because to me, not getting <clears throat> the camp counseling position would mean that something like it, it, I wouldn't be happy. Like my summer would be ruined if I didn't get it because I had to find myself over for the summer and for the, you know, the upcoming months to prepare for it as Brooke is a camp counselor in Massachusetts. That's it. If she's not, I'm not happy. Um, so I wanted to say like, just because you set an intention and you don't get what you want, it doesn't mean that everything's ruined. It could actually mean that you now have the opportunity to do something even better for yourself. Um, maybe the universe is like, you know what, I know you want that, but that's not actually what is right for you at the moment. Um, so a lot of people, like, they'll set an intention and they'll knock it if they want, and instead of um, just accepting that and then making the current circumstance work, they'll either force it and try too hard to make the other situation work, and then it ends up making everything worse, or, you know, they just give up and fall into a depression and they, you know, think that intention doesn't work. So I've been waiting to hear from them. And I finally got to this point where I was like exhausted from obsessing over it. And they told me like, you know, we'll get back to you in a week. So I had to wait a week anyway. Um, and you know, it's like the universe, they, it's, I'd already set my intention. It already knows that that's what I want. Next, no. And I guess the missing element for me was patience. Um, so as soon as I let go and I was just like, you know what, it is what it is. If I don't get it, I'll make the summer work. I'll still find something that I can do that's fun. Um, I may not be in Massachusetts where I wanna be, or maybe I will, like maybe I'll find another way to get over there. Um, or maybe I'll just stay in LA and hash it out here and then be able to go next summer. And as soon as I let it go, it was about four days until they said they were going to get back to me. Um, you know, I log into my old email account, too, that I don't really use for some, how, some reason. The camp got a hold of the old email and have they've been communicating with me through that. And I go to it and I see an email from Farm and Garden Camp in Amherst, Massachusetts. And lo and behold, I got the gig. Uh, so, I mean, it's freaky. I'm freaking out a little because that means over the summer for two months, at least, I am going to be in Amherst, Massachusetts, working as a camp counselor for Farm and Garden Camp, um, where they focus on food and where your food comes from and taking care of farm animals and growing your own food and all of the things that I am seriously in love with and that I've been trying to get more involved with out here, which is sort of kind of hard, but... Yeah, so I set my intention, and as soon as I had the patience to just let go, back up for a second, 
stop trying to control the situation. I got exactly what I wanted. So, I mean, intention and patience, that is what uh, Kyle C. said. He, you know, inspires me to, to, like, he just, something about the way that he talks just clicks into my head, and it just makes me see the light. And then I start to experience the stuff for myself, which then obviously solidifies the stuff that he says. So set your intentions, let go of control, and good things will happen. So happy Tuesday. I will talk to you all later. Bye.